Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper, Trader, Guide, Scout, and Interpreter, and Country Cook, Steve Hall. Not on the Cooking with Shotgun Red channel, but on the Shotgun Red 1000 channel to show you how to do the trick, Diamond Jim and Little Joe, card trick. Now if you haven't seen the first video, you really need to go watch the first video first, then come back and I'll show you how to do it. And it's not anywhere near as difficult as it looks in the trick. Now I'm going to show you how to set the deck. Right now, now here is how you set up the deck. Of course you have to start with Diamond Jim, Little Joe. Then they was at the 88 Club and a $2 tip. Then he went and got the four cases of Asi Whiskey and another $2 tip. Then he brought back the bartenders and another $2 tip. Then he brought back the four Jack Brothers and another $2 tip. Then he brought him the four Queen Sisters and a $10 tip. Now that's the top half. Diamond Jim, Little Joe, two eights and a two, four aces and a two, four kings and a two, four jacks and a two, four queens and a ten. Now the bottom half, you just got to memorize. It's a little bit tricky, but it's not too bad once you do the card trick all by yourself a couple times. And remember, after they drank the whiskey and the bartenders poured the booze and the band played the music and they danced, he sat down and he said, I haven't seen you in a long time. How old are you, 37? No, I'm 45. You married? Yeah, I got seven kids. Three girls, four boys. Where do you live? 37, 48, West 10th Street. Is that down by the 99 Club? He said, yeah. I was playing poker. A guy bet me five. He raised me five. I called him with a 10. I, had him, I knew I had him beat because I had three sixes and a pair of nines, but I'll be darned if he didn't have a straight club flush. So when you're first setting this up, you really want to put your straight club flush off to the side so you don't get any of these fours, fives, or eights mixed up with anything else. And they go on the bottom. Now you're set. All the way through. Ten of diamonds, three of spades. Those are the two I use for Diamond Jim and Little Joe. A couple of eights and a two, four aces and a two, four kings and a two, four jacks and a two, four queens and a ten. How, I've seen you in a long time. How old are you? 37? No, I'm 45. He said, you got any kids? Seven, or seven kids, three girls and four boys. I live at 3748 West 10th Street. Is that down by the 99 Club? He said, yeah. I was playing poker. A guy bet me five. He raised me five. It cost me ten to call. And I knew I had him beat because I had three sixes and a pair of nines. But I'll be darned if he didn't have a straight club flush. Now once you get that set, you just pop it in the box and you give it to one of your friends at a party and say, when I ask you if you got some cards, just bring them out and randomly pull them out. And then you can start out with a story about Diamond Jim and Little Joe. Now when your friend hands you this deck of cards that looks like he just got it out of the kitchen drawer or something, say, let me see if I can remember a card trick I haven't did in a long time. Let's start with, okay, we'll use the ten of diamonds and the three of spades. We'll call him Diamond Jim and him Little Joe. Make it sound random, like those just happen to be two cards you pulled out of the deck, but you do want the ten of diamonds and the three of spades for this. And the story goes that they sat and talked to each other. They hadn't seen each other in a long time. He said, why don't you take me around town? Now, the only time the two of them get in the car is the first time. Little Joe says, all right. So Diamond Jim and Little Joe, they hopped in his taxi cab. And what it does, what I'm doing is, is it makes it look like I'm just randomly picking a spot. And I truly am. But what I'm doing is I'm taking the top half that I just peeled off. And it doesn't matter where you cut as long as you put it completely on the bottom. See, there's that eight of clubs on the bottom. Now, we want to get back to that card. So you say, he jumped in his taxi cab and he went down the road one block, two blocks, three blocks. And when you start to get close to that club flush, only peel off four cards at a time so you never miss it. Five blocks, six blocks, seven blocks. There's the six, seven, eight. Two houses over, out jumped little Joe and Diamond Jim, and they were at the 88 Club, because see, they're right in order. He said that's worth a $2 tip. You take this stack and put it right back under the bottom. Then Little Joe's going to go to get the Aces of Whiskey, the Ace High Whiskey, so Diamond Jim stays there all the time from now on. Little Joe jumps in his taxi cab, and it doesn't matter where you cut it, but make it sound random. He just goes like this. All I'm doing is taking where I cut and put it under the bottom. See the 8? Then I'm just going to find the eight. He went down the road one block, two blocks, three blocks. Remember, about here, no more than four cards. Five blocks, 
and three houses over, how it jumped little Joe, because that was the five, that's why I went three houses over, and he brought back with him the four cases of Ace High Whiskey. Now it's time for little Joe to jump in his taxi cab and go get the bartenders, because Diamond Jim wants some bartenders. Of course, again, he'll go down the road one block, two blocks, only peeling off four cards at a time, five blocks, six blocks, three houses over, out jumped little Joe, brought back with him the four King Brothers. He said, that's worth another $2 tip. And keep your hand kind of over the eight, put it back underneath. Then they need a band. So little Joe jumps in his taxi cab. It doesn't matter where you cut it, as long as you put that stack on the bottom. Goes down the road one block, two blocks, three blocks, four blocks, two houses over, out jump little Joe. There's the four Jack brothers. Always pause it. He said, that's the four of the finest musicians you've ever seen. Somebody's going to bite on it and say, oh, that's only three. Say, well, his name's off. He's out in the car. Gets a big laugh. Then you lay the other $2 tip down, put it back underneath. Now, remember, the Queen Sisters are going to come up, and they're worth a $10 tip. So little Joey hops in his taxi cab. He shoots down the road one block, two blocks, three houses over. See, there's the five. Three houses over, out jumped Little Joe, and he brought back with him the four Queen Sisters. And Diamond Jim says, Little Joe, wow, that's worth a $10 tip. Back underneath. And from here on out, it's just the story you got to remember from the top down to the eight of clubs. Haven't seen you in a long time. How old are you now? 37? No, I'm 45. You married? Yeah, I got seven kids, three girls and four boys. Well, where do you live? He said, I live down there at 37. 48 West 10th Street. Is that down by the 99 Club? He said, you bet. You know, I was down there playing poker once and a guy bet me five and he raised another five. Cost me 10 to call him. I know I had him beat because I had three sixes, lay them out first, and a pair of nines, a full house. And then make this kind of dramatic, but I'll be darned if he didn't have a straight club flush. And that's the story of Diamond Jim and Little Joe. And if you'll set it up like that, it'll use every single card in the deck. I hope this card trick is something you can have a lot of fun with. Remember to have it set, put it in a box, and just give it to somebody at a house where you're going to and tell them, put this in your purse, and then I'll ask you for some cards. You can go in the kitchen and bring them out. I hope you subscribe to our channel. There's our button right there at Shotgun Red 1000, where I just show you a lot of different unique stuff. Hope you subscribe to the channel. And if you want some great recipes, that's at our other channel, Cooking with Shotgun Red. This is Steve Hall. Hope you enjoyed Diamond Jim and Little Joe. Have some fun with it. Thanks a lot.